What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome back to Tekken 8 in 8 minutes. And now we're gonna do Devil Jin, one of the hardest characters to play in the game, just like the other Mishimas. He's the most all-round Mishima, meaning he does pretty much everything. He's very versatile, and he does it well. In Tekken 8, he blends Mishima Legacy with some of the craziest rushdown tools I've ever seen. So how do we play Legacy Mishima? We wave dash rush down our opponents into a 50-50. Is it a mid or is it a low? For low, you have the hardest hitting health sweep in the game. Does a ton of damage. Launch punishable on block, however. You can also do CD 4-4, chunk of damage, no recoverable health, and big advantage, and they're right in your face. Super good. Mids to mix this with is the all-powerful Demon Paw. Heat engager, safe mid, when you're in heat, launch if you heat dash, up forward 4 is a jumping mid, heat engager, very strong. If you want more damage, CD3 is a natural hit launcher, safe on block, a little bit slow. So elite Mishima players, wave dash cancel into while stunning 2, natural hit launcher, minus 12 on block, but it's very fast. This is super hard to do though, so consult my wave dash guide if you want to learn how to do that. He also has flash punch, uh, as good as ever. And the electric, arguably the best move in the game. You know, pl plus five on block, natural hit launcher, extremely strong, just frame, hard to do. In this game, you now have Morning Crow. Press forward free to lunge forward into this stance. This stance is very strong, uh, so you don't have to wave dash rush down if you don't want to. You can do Morning Crow one, kablam, power mid into a free back four, right? On block, this is plus 8. This is a huge advantage. So we have to respect me and take a mix-up. Because if he doesn't respect me, I can do back 4. This is a counter hit launcher that will interrupt him. And it's safe on block. This is really good. If we try and step, we can do Morning Crow 2, which is a homing mid heat engager. This is minus 14 on block, however. Uh, Morning Crow also has the Tormentor. Morning Crow 3. This acts like a steel pedal. Backflip spam, hits grounded, huge hitbox. If we try and disrespect, this is a counter hit launcher for massive, massive damage. It is safe on block. Uh, we can block it standing or ducking as it's a special mid. Morning Crow is very strong. And now, holy shit, let's look at the shackle. Keep out is a big deal in Tekken, but Delgin completely counters keep out gameplay. You can't use it against him. This is incredible. Due to the shackle, up for one. Projectile, boom, on hit, guarantees 2-2. Heating Yager. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Completely transforms the, the neutral game here with Devil Jin. Uh, on block, it, it doesn't guarantee anything, but you get plus 11 and you go into your Morning Crow mix-up. Note, however, that the one option is so slow that if, if Huarang jabs here, he floats me out of it and he gets a combo. Two option, however, interrupts here. So it's sort of a mind game on block, but still really powerful, I would say. So his neutral here, uh, if I'm standing all the way over here, I threaten with so many approach tools. Not only can you can't use keep out against me due to shackle, if you're trying to duck that shackle because it's annoying to block, I can do Ford Ford 4, which is an infinite range mid. Knockdown mid. Infinite range if you try and duck shackle. Safe on block and a counter it launcher. If you try and step, you know what? I'll morning crow in into the two option. Homing. Or I'll just wave dash in. His approach is crazy and you can't use keep out against him. Or you know, go for frames with morning crow 1. Uh, so really crazy rush down here, and then when he is in heat, which he accesses with his very strong demon paw, uh, heat mix-ups are crazy. Uh, CD1 plus 2 is a slow knockdown mid, uh, homing, it's safe on block, so it has utility, but it's a bit slow. Counter it knocks down into a free back 4, or CD3. When you are in heat, this is a plus 2 on block, natural hit launcher. That's pretty potent. And uh, when you're in heat, you can now hell sweep now into a full combo. With the power of a heat dash, right? This is really powerful. And when you're in heat, if you hit with shackle, 2-2 dash, yeah, it's now a full combo, right? 
So his heat is really scary, but it doesn't end there. He has a full screen heat smash. This tracks to both sides. If he blocks this, Shackle is guaranteed on block into plus 11 mix up. He also has a Morning Crow heat smash. This is an unbreakable throw, unescapable throw. So holy shit, the stuff this guy threatens you with when he's in heat. And, and honestly, when he's not in heat as well. He's also, as always, uh, extremely all round, an extremely all round character. Um, he sacrifices a little bit of his poking strength from before. Downford 1 is a unique, a new animation now, and Jab, Jab and Downford 1 is not a, are not as strong as they used to be. They nerfed a little bit his poke utility to give him some of that utility, the approach stuff. But he's still pretty all round. Uh, Jab is still decent. Downford 1 is a 13 frame mid check. You can do Downford 1 2. Second hit knocks down. This is mid high now, however, but a counter hit string. Uh, poking is good, uh, down 3, down back 2, down back 2 is very evasive, minus 13 on block, but knocks down on counter it into a guaranteed back 4, into your devastating uh, mix-ups, right? So it's still pretty good. Laser cannon is an amazing string, amazing string. Natural, two first hits, there's always the threat of a fo uh, final hit, right? The third hit. And this locks people down. Uh, it's not homing, but it pretty much is. You can't really step this. So this makes uh, people respect him. He also has a parry. He has Samsara, which is basically a turn-stealing move. As soon as you do this, you pretty much go uh, invincible because you're so evasive. And this just launches a normal hit. So very turn-stealing, very deceptive. Note, however, however, that it's launch punishable on block, so do remember that. Uh, and then you have a full throw game to threaten with as well. One break, just like good Gaijin, right? Two, no, uh, two break, one break, and one plus two, big laser throw. So, very, very all-round character. And also interesting is that they gave you damage one plus two if you charge this. On block, it does a ton of chip and gives ten... 10 free frames, so you get a guaranteed flash punch there. So that is also uh, very strong. But so as you can see, a very all-round character has tools for pretty much every situation, has some of the most powerful and threatening mix-ups. Uh, but again, when he's standing at this range from you, holy shit, the stuff he threatens you with from, from afar, right? And especially when he's in heat. So I would say that Davlgen is more chaotic and scarier than ever. Super all round. Uh, very damaging, but also very hard to play. So you're going to need a lot of time to truly master this character. Execution wise, but also strategy. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.